Hello folks, welcome to today's part of the database management systems revision video series. This video is a follow up to the last 30 second video and I'm going to do question set number 33 in this. You can see scenario of the question is given here again like this. In the first question they are asking what is the relationship between user and user type relations. So in this case there will be several users with the same user type so there must be a one to many relationship between user type and user tables. Then in the next question they are asking what is the relationship between user and gender relations. Then again even in this case it's clear that there will be several users with the same gender so there must be a one to many relationship between gender and user tables. Then they are asking what is the relationship between user and system login relations. In this case, system login details must be unique to every single user so there must be a one-to-one -one relationship between system login and user tables. Then in the fourth question they are asking what is the relationship between user and address tables. In this case there could be several users living in the same address so there must be a one to many relationship between address and user tables. Then in the fifth question they are asking what is the relationship between address and city tables. In this case there could be several addresses from the same city so there must be a one to many relationship between city and address tables. Then they are asking what's the relationship between product and brand tables. In this case there could be several products under the same brand name so there must be a one to many relationship between brand and product tables. Then they are asking what is the relationship between user and goods received notes tables. So in this case several goods received notes could be issued to the same user so there must be a one to many relationship between user and GRN tables. Then they are asking what is the relationship between GRN and GRN item tables. So a single goods received note could contain several GRN items so there must be a one to many relationship between GRN and GRN item tables. And now they are asking what is the relationship between GRN item and product tables. So in this case several goods received notes could be issued to the same product in several locations. So there must be a one to many relationship between product and GRN item tables. Mm -hmm. 
Then in the 10th question, they are asking what is the relationship between GRN item and stock tables. In this case, there could be several GRN items in a single stock, so there must be a one to many relationship between stock and GRN item tables. Then they are asking what is the relationship between user and invoice tables. So in this case, several invoices could be issued to the same user. So there must be a one to many relationship between user and invoice tables. Then they are asking what is the relationship between invoice and invoice item tables. In this case, single invoice could contain several invoice items. So there must be a one to many relationship between invoice and invoice item tables. Then finally they are asking what is the relationship between invoice item and stock tables. In this case a single stock could contain several invoice items. So there must be a one to many relationship between stock and invoice item tables. And that's all I had to answer in today's question set. So, see ya.